Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Who thank you, Jesus. Who thank you, Jesus. Minister Paul, Northern California. February 28th. Tomorrow's March 1st. Just came out of my prayer closet. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You know, we are only accountable to Jesus Christ, not people. The devil is a liar. The Bible says he comes to kill, steal, and destroy. But Jesus, but Jesus, but Jesus, but Jesus, but Jesus, but Jesus, Yeshua, Yeshua, Yeshua. Lead us and guide us and help us and deliver us and keep us from evil, Lord Jesus. Form a hedge of protection around us. We cry holy. We cry holy. We cry holy. Just let his presence give you peace and rest. You see this uh, young man behind me in the picture frame there? That's my son, Vincent. And his wife and his child Aaliyah, and now they have a boy also. That's me and him reuniting in Roseville. Devil told me I'd never see him again, and I didn't see him for 15 years. But the devil's a lie. Victory in Jesus. He's in my life. Just bought his first home. See those two on the left? <laughs> Backwards. Second man. Crowd on my knees and cry holy. Is he holy? Is he worthy of all praise? Our Redeemer, our Deliverer, our High Priest making intercession for us. Hallelujah. The one who died on the cross, the one who was and is and is to come, the one that wrote the Word of God, the one that framed the world, the one that knows the end from the beginning. In Him is truth, forgiveness, salvation, and redemption, and coming soon, transformation. Okay, so see those two young men? Jordan and Joshua. At the age of around 12, they lost their mother to diabetes top one. Not lost. I know where she's at. So do they. You know where she's at? In heaven. Why? Because what Jesus did. Not what anything she did. Her faith and trust in the shed blood of Jesus. In 2009, they lost their father, my wife's Gail's brother. She stayed up there for two weeks nurturing and helping him as the hospital sent him home with no hope. He sat, he sat on that couch and, and lived with us as I prayed over him. He went to church with me. He became saved, redeemed, and he went home. And he was born uh, March 7th, and he went home June 29th. I remember gathering together in a local church here with a friend of mine, Pastor Braxton. And I said, you know, they've told him he, he can't live, that he's lost too much of his liver and he's going to perish. And I'll never forget what my pastor said. I made a video that I, I'll never release. It's just too personal made it a couple years ago, actually in 2010. My pastor had such faith, he said, remember when they'd done everything they could and they had such great faith that they, they took the man in the bed up on the roof and lowered him down to where Jesus was. 
They couldn't get to Jesus. The crowd was too big. So they literally climbed up this building on the roof and let the man down. That's great faith. But God has a purpose and will for you. He knows when your, your time is up. He knows when this world's time is up. He knows all. He's the author and finisher of your faith though. Those two men, the one with the number on his shirt is back in Hawaii, almost has his college degree, working, never been in trouble with the law, and is saved at Bethel and Reading. Powerful man of God. Pray for him, Jordan. On the, le uh, on the other side with the cross, my wife and I bought him that cross when he got saved. Simply through prayer, we took him to a Christian bookstore and he volunteered to work there for our friend, Linda, in Marysville. She just witnessed to him and witnessed to him, witnessed to him. She'd lost her son at age 17 in a street racing. But he got saved two weeks before his fatal uh, crash. Joshua is now married, has a child, and is strong in the Lord and redeemed. What are you saying, Paul? I'm saying God is the author and finisher of our faith. Amen. He's the author and finisher of our faith. And you know what? The devil wants to kill and steal your faith and your peace. As I came out of my prayer room, can I just testify? Jesus said, seek peace and pursue it. Rebuke fear, walk in love. We can only be saved through what Jesus did. And many are weary and many are under attack. That's part of the walk. He never said it would be easy, but he goes before you saints. Today, listen to me, today is a day to expose the devil as a liar to preach the good news of Christ crucified and redeeming us to anybody that's willing to listen. Time's drawing short. Uh, you, all you gotta do is look around everywhere. They, they said we're under tornado warning, but I'm sitting here at perfect peace because my mind has stayed on Jesus. And I said, Lord, I've already made three videos while I'm praying. I began to pray for my whole family and every prayer request that has come into this ministry. And the devil said, you're overwhelmed. And I said, no, I'm not. You're a liar. And turned all of it over to Jesus. And I ask you today to cast your cares upon the one who died on the cross, Jesus. He's the only one true living God, the savior of this world, the lamb of God, the sacrifice for your sins. Please lean to him. You will find peace, you will lose fear. But you need to seek that peace. Pursue it, the Bible says. Are you pursuing peace today? If you are, flee, will leave. Understand? And as for the devil and his lies about these people, nothing he ever says comes to pass because there's no truth in him. But everything Jesus says comes to pass. Give him praise and honor and glory. This is a call of salvation that you bow on your knees and cry holy to Jesus Christ. And as long as there's air in your lungs, you can repent of your sins. Don't let the devil tell you you can't. Repent and be baptized and believe on Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. He is the remission of your sins. We will be with him forever, only and if only. We accept what he did for us on the cross. Amen. Minister Paul saying we love you. My wife and I love you. And we are going through. We're going through. I feel the Holy Spirit talking. Hold on. What are we going through, Lord Jesus? Hmm. We're going through what was prophesied thousands of years ago. And a part of that posse. A prophecy, a part of that prophecy is us caught up forever to be with him. Where there'll be no more tears, no more sicknesses, no more diseases. Our prayers are stored up in bowls, Revelation says. Send up a prayer today and lay it at the feet of Jesus. And know that he will answer it.
according to his word. He promised that. If you don't know Jesus, private message me. If you randomly stumbled upon this video, there's a reason for that. I'm praying for you. My wife's praying for you. We're all praying for you to be unblinded by the lies of the devil. I just gave you examples of lies he told. Seek peace and pursue it. Continue to stand in faith. He's coming soon.